Make sure, and we want to make sure we thank the West Milford Police Department, the Fire Department, and the Ambulance Corps for coming out here and supporting us today. Let's give those folks a great, great round of applause. Thank you very much. By the age of 23, he had accumulated over 4,000 flying hours. Oh, I love that sound. Music to my ears. Steve Lowe, the commercial, funky engine. In the deep 25, and the Steve is also a CFI, single and multi-engine instructor, seaplane rated, and is a certified commercial aerial applicant. Our last pilot up there is Jimmy, Jimmy Fordham. Well, he got lost in the shuffle. I've been calling him Gene McDealy all weekend, and my apologies for that. But he's out there as tail end Charlie, also known as the slot position. You're gonna get to see the aerial team Later on today, they'll put on their full show. If you were here on Friday night, which I hope you were, you got to see them during a superb night show. We had a good time. It's down that way behind the white tent. And in just a moment here, they're going to set up for their landing. 
This is a big airplane, ladies and gentlemen, that AT-6 Texan, built by North American, weighs in at 5,600 pounds. And while she is a very agile and nimble lady in the skies, it does take a season in hand to get her safely back on the ground here. You gotta line them up just right with the runway. And here we go. Look at this, it's Brian Regan, the number two ship. He landed first. I wonder how he got that priority. And hopefully right behind him are the other three. Uh, here's Mark Henley, the leader of the team. He holds the tail up high. You can see him dancing on the rudder a little bit, that's normal. Now here's number four, that's Jimmy Fordham out there. I understand Jimmy went in his part time, he carves needles for phonographs. And here's number three, Steve Gustafson out there. I'll tell you what, these gentlemen, they make it look so easy.